Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's review is going to be of Oz Great and Powerful Glinda palette. Now this palette, again, is just like the Theodora palette in the sense that you open it up and it has eight shadows in here. And it has a eyeliner. So let's start off with packaging. This packaging does not appeal to me as much as the Theodora palette is did. So if you look at the Theodora palette and then look at the Glinda palette, the Glinda palette to me is just, it's boring. I mean, seriously, if you're going to do packaging that is a set that is supposed to go together for a movie and you do one package, um, awesome, why skimp on the other palette? It doesn't make any sense to me. This palette is just boring. I mean, really. The only, uh, the otherwise, it's awesome. Again, it's made out of the same metal aluminum that the other palette was made with, made out of. It has Oz the Great and Powerful em embroidered on, in gold, or embossed with, in gold. It has Urban Decay at the top. You know who it's from. And then you open it, and the opening is very easy to open. You just open it like this. You have your eyeliner in here, which I'm going to take out, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, however, again, it's got that, yeah, mirror. That mirror that just doesn't want to stay up. I mean... At least the Vice palette has a mirror that like that stays up. Again, you got eight shadows in here. You have two duos. This one's a duo. And the one up here is a duo. So let's start with the purple, which looks like... And again, they pop out just like the Theodora does. This one's called Tornado. It's a beautiful purple. I don't know if you can see that. It's beautiful purple. Kind of um, a royal purple, to be honest. Then you have your duo shadow, which is called Aura. Aura. And you can't really see it on the camera too well, but there's a blue duochrome and a peach duochrome. And the blue duochrome is very reminiscent of um, Vex from MAC. And the peach is really pretty too. You can't really see it on camera, which sucks, but trust me, they're, du they're like duochrome. And then you got this beautiful pink called Magic. I don't know if you can see that. It's this beautiful, like, baby pink that is just gorgeous. And, um, again, I'll have swatches. Um, it pictured swat pitch pictures of swatches. Then you get Illusion, which is like this peachy kind of shade. It's like a skin tone almost. It's really pretty. Then you get another duochrome, I mean a duo shadow. And this one is silver and gold, so you have a silver, which is fantastic. And you have this gold. Now, I don't know what is up with Urban Decay and this chunky monkey glitter. Again, it has that chunky, chunky glitter in it. And if you're alright with losing m most of that glitter, then this is a good shadow for you. Um, 
I would suggest, though, maybe try uh, wetting your brush when you use the gold. That might keep some of that glitter if you really want to keep that glitter. But other than that, I don't know why they just... I hate when they put that chunky, chunky monkey glitter in their shadow. And the last one is one of my favorites. It's called South. It's this deep gunmetal gray, and it's fantastic. I did a smoky eye with this, and it was wonderful. Then you get an eyeliner, which um, is called Rockstar. And it looks like this. It's just a deep purple. A deep, 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 like, plum color. And then you also get a super saturated lip pencil um, called Glinda. And it's just like a, a nude like a, a nice nudie pink color. This is what comes in the kit, or in the case, in the box, I should say. And, um, again, a really great, great item to pick up, especially if you love Oz, the Great and Powerful, or if you love the Wizard of Oz, even. That would be good. Um... These palettes are only probably going to be for like a little while, um, I'm guessing, because it seems like they're going that route with, um, like, limited edition. It doesn't say limited edition, but I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be, just like um, some of their other palettes were. So, if you really want this, I would go out and get it now. Anyway, other than that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and until my next video, I hope you have a safe and healthy rest of your day. So and, until next time, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, anything you want. If you want a, um, a tutorial with the Glinda palette or the Theodore palette, do not hesitate to let me know down in the comments section. I will gladly take your comments and um, do a video on that for you. Um, there are other YouTubers who have done reviews on these palettes as well as uh, tutorials. I will also link them down in the description box. So, um, yeah, until next time, I hope you're safe and healthy.